Hello everybody, Flash Rabbit here again. Welcome back, nice to see you. I'm here with my single player Let's Play Survival World uh, and today we're going to build a melon and pumpkin farm. I'm going to build it over by the sugarcane farm uh, which we built the time before last. Um, now in between episodes what I've done, I've connected up the sugarcane farm to this uh, hopper line which takes everything down to Founders Bay uh, and I've finished that. That was the wrong way Flash, I want to go forwards mate, forwards. Um, I've finished it now, uh, so as you can see it comes all the way along here and it starts to drop down quite dramatically and more so here and ends up going underground. Now I put a chest here uh, while I was testing it with the iron because I didn't want it getting lost so I stuck a chest on the end of the hopper line to see if everything came through and do you know what it actually works I couldn't believe it. So it comes down here, it goes underground, and then it ends up in my uh, sorting system. I'll just show you quickly. Oh, overshot that one. So coming down here into the sorting room. If we go up here, you'll be able to see the hopper line coming into, into here. So the hopper line runs down there. Uh, and after the items have come along the hopper line, you go down into this dropper, there's a comparative plot behind it which spits out uh, the items into this water stream and they fall down here. Now there's a water stream, I don't know if you remember or were here when I built this sorting system, there's a water stream that runs along all of the sorting hoppers all the way around. Uh, so the items come in here and they filter around in the, in the item sorter and end up in their appropriate chests. So, Basically, I've got one central point where all of my uh, stuff is stored. Now, at the moment, all the sugar cane is coming through uh, from the sugar cane farm because I've just obviously connected that. So, I was actually pleasantly surprised that it worked exactly the way it was supposed to because, to be quite honest, I really didn't think it would. Um, but it did, and I'm really, really pleased. It's absolutely fantastic. I've actually done something that's uh, that's gone to plan. Wonderful. A few phase plants along the way, but I can cope with that. Right, okay, let's get on with today's job. So here we are in the sugarcane farm. I'm going to build the melon and pumpkin farm just next to it. I'm just in the middle now of clearing out this area. Uh, so I'm going to get that done, and then I'll bring you back, and we can start building this thing. Okay, so this is the size of the room that we're digging out. It's a little bit bigger than we need, but I'd, I prefer to have some some breathing space when I'm doing a build. I don't want to be banging my ears on the ceiling, for example. Okay, now we've got to start looking at the collection system. So I'm going to dig a 2x2 two two area here, and then we put our chest in. Now. I'm going to connect this up to the main sorter, so we don't need a huge collection system here. Because we've already got one. <laughs> right, okay, and that's that done. Let's dig that out so I can get out. Now, here, we need to dig a too deep trench. And that goes all the way along to the end. Like that. And then we need to put redstone torches on each and every one of those blocks like so pop up is that right yeah now sort of in the middle we can't get exactly in the middle because it's 10 wide we need to go down too deep and we need to pop another redstone torch in there and then we need to start putting some rails down and we do that by putting rails like this. Now it's the same uh, all the way along. We just come along here like this, around and powered rails. Alright, so I'll crack on with this and when it's done I'll bring you back and we'll do, we'll do the next bit. I've done it wrong already. And that's the rails done all the way round. So a minecart's going to run around on here, a hop minecart, and it's going to pick up all the melons and pumpkins that are broken. 
and it goes on like that. We'll just give it a little bit of a push, and it'll just carry on going around and around for an eternity. And now we've just got to cover up the rails with dirt because obviously we need something for the melons and pumpkins to grow on. Now we're going to have to hydrate this as well, otherwise it will just turn back into dirt. But we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so now that's covered up, we're ready for the next step. And we're going to put water on this block here, just on that little half slab so it doesn't run down and spoil all of our rails. And now we just have to make a sort of a checkerboard pattern with the hog and we should be good to go. I knew I've messed it up. Oh, I've done it again. I knew I've messed it up. <laughs> it's impossible for me to do things right first time. Oh, it's not hard, Flash. Come on, mate. There we go. And we've got that bit completed now as well. And now we need to plant the seeds. So... What we can do, we can plant melons, we can plant pumpkins if we like. It all depends on what you want out of your farm, really. So I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do half melons and I'm going to do half pumpkins. Now, this piece of glowstone is going to help the crops grow. Because, as in real life, if crops have got light, they grow much faster. Right, now I'm just going to put a temporary roof on this thing. Uh, this. Now we need to go up two blocks. Like that, and we'll bring this roof down by one block. Now we've got to put in our pistons. Where are they? Where are the pistons? There they are. Now these go over every block that doesn't have a crop underneath it. We want one there, pointing down there, and then another one there. Pointing down there, and then this one.
That's all the observers in place now. And then we want to blob the redstone on the top. <laughs> back forward flash on the top of every observer, just like that. So that's the farm finished, uh, and we're already getting some results, and it's only been going a few minutes, uh, so it's doing all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this uh, by a hopper line to the hopper line that goes down to Founders Bay, so everything will go straight into my sorting system down there, uh, so I don't have to worry about coming up here to collect it. Just lazy bones, that's all. Now, you're perfectly within your rights to leave it like this. Um, it wouldn't do any harm, and I think I'm going to leave it like this, really. There's no reason to decorate it because we're sort of in an industrial zone here so it, it really doesn't matter I'm gonna put iron blocks around the walls uh, like this just to finish it off so it looks uh, a little neater and more clean now if I'm honest I can't genuinely think who came up with the, this design uh, the collection system for all farms really has been around for quite some time in the community so I honestly couldn't tell you who designed that and I couldn't tell you who came up with this alternate observer piston configuration on top here because again it's been around for quite some time and basically what happens the observer picks up a change in this stem whether it be pumpkin or melon it fires out a redstone signal from its little redstone dot on the back powers this redstone which in turn powers the piston which pushes down and breaks either the melon or the pumpkin uh, and of course as we know we've got a lost piece there didn't expect that so maybe actually it's worth encasing this in glass yeah I'll do that I'll encase it in glass and that will prevent things like that happening uh, and it popping off out, outside of the range of the uh, minecart with hopper Okay, so I've just finished it off there with some green glass around too high. So this way it won't let any items pop out uh, outside of the range of the minecart with hopper. That, that'll get everything that comes into here. So that's working quite well. Right, let's uh, pack up our stuff and move on. Off camera what I'll do is I'll decorate the uh, melon and pumpkin farm with the iron blocks and finish off the sugar cane farm as well just to make it look a little clean and clinical. You don't want your food being produced in a mucky place, do you? <laughs> right, I just want to go over and show you something that I've built over here in the dark oak forest. Sounds like the start of a fairy tale, doesn't it? So, of course, we're in spooky season. So, every Minecraft world, of course, needs a spooky build. Uh, and I've decided to do something a little bit cartoony this year. Um, so I've built this, I've used crimson planks uh, and purple for the detail uh, and then I've used dark oak planks and dark oak stairs uh, for the roof because of course we're in a dark oak forest so it was easily available but I thought it fit quite nicely. Uh, I've done a path here, the, just a, the random path that I do with the basalt path blocks, uh, slabs, coarse dirt, gravel. Uh, cobblestone and cracked stone brick. So, oh, I'm stuck in cobweb, goodness me. That's the only thing with having cobwebs about. Because I'm a bit of a clown, I get stuck in them all the time. Oh, I'm going to have to break this one, aren't I? Otherwise I'll be here forever. Right, come here, let's have you. There. Right, pop you back. Right, so I've got some somewhere. There we go. I've got some spare cobwebs or some more cobwebs because I went exploring another abandoned mine, would you believe? There's actually an, another, so that's three uh, in the area now. In the area around Spawn uh, and Founders Bay. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> so, yeah, so as I was saying, that's three uh, abandoned mines around the areas, area of Spawn and Founders Bay now. It's actually incredible. I don't think I've ever come across uh, as many abandoned mines in such a small area ever it's the first time ever so I'm just putting some uh, cobwebs around the place just to make it look a little bit downtrodden and spooky I suppose you could say now I've put some gravestones here as well so that's just two black stone walls with an area of coarse dirt with a cobweb on it to make it look a little bit old we've got some uh, 
carved pumpkins knocking about as well some jack-o'-lanterns because of course Halloween wouldn't be Halloween without jack-o'-lanterns would it so I'm actually quite pleased with this I, I really like the way it looks I had a pillager raid not a raid but a pillager um, troop come by uh, they didn't last long I still need to put some stairs in here actually and put windows in the back I've put the windows in downstairs and at the front uh, I've used black stained glass for that but I've not done upstairs at the back so I've got to get that finished um, yeah so that's that's my spooky build for this Halloween I hope you like it we've got a dead tree here um, and I think probably the best material to make dead trees out of really now is basalt I think the texture of the basalt make it look like bark uh, well a little bit uh, and yeah the, the colour makes it look a little bit deady so <laughs> that's what I used and I think it looks uh, I think it looks quite good so again another build that I'm reasonably pleased with I can't say I, I can complain too much about it it's gone pretty much to plan so just wanted to show you that let's crack on I'm back here beside the iron farm because as you can see we've got some villagers in there now these come from my village breeder and carrot farm uh, and what we've got this is logical geek boys design I think or it could be in impulse SV I'm absolutely rubbish you know I should write this stuff down um, but essentially what happens the farmer villager there tends to the crops and he comes over here uh, and he chucks carrots to his mate who's trapped inside these trap doors and surrounded by beds now because there's only trap doors around him this guy dippy as he is thinks that he can get to these beds so he's all good now once he's fed up he starts they start getting it on for want of a better word <laughs> uh, and they breed and they create little babies and the babies come down here they fall through this gap here into the water stream and they get pushed over there uh, where they grow up into adult villagers and I can take them off into my uh, villager trading hall there by a minecart now the trouble is if I leave this going um, the villagers start to overpopulate and we get way too many I mean I've got way too many villagers as it is so basically what I need to do I need to find a way of culling them um, so that I can get the carrot farm up and running because in there I've got a farmer uh, who trades carrots so as well as melons I think he trades as well um, so it'd be really helpful if I could get the carrot farm working again so uh, that I can trade carrots with him for emeralds can I get that water from there I bet I can't can I so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a system in maybe a little dispenser system Does that go a little bit? Yeah. Uh, a little dispenser system in there which will uh, basically push lava on top of them and cool them <laughs> I've got no real nice way to say it to be honest with you because it's terrible and I feel like a horrible person doing it but it's got to be done it's got to be done I can't be overrun with villages because apart from anything else they'll call they'll cause lag and I don't want lag <laughs> Right, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a dispenser, I don't need all six, so I'm going to put a dispenser down. Um, I need that anyway, don't I, because I need the redstone. Um, right, so can I... Uh, I'm going to have to get in there, aren't I? Yeah. Right, so if I put... If I put the dispenser in that corner like that and then shift these out of the way go on get out of my way get out of my way I'm gonna put a block there oh, useless. they just don't cooperate at, at all do they villagers they just don't cooperate and it's not it's not right right stay there okay 
Now, I just want to remind you guys, if you didn't already know, that I've now set up a Patreon account where you can support me directly. Uh, you get loads of behind-the-scenes information, there's tons of Patreon-only posts and other content, plus either a dedicated sign or an armor stand clad in diamond gear in my TriCraft Patron Hall. Now, for just £1 or $1, you can get all of those benefits, plus you can get your name added to the whitelist for the... TriCraft patron server which is absolutely fantastic and there's loads of cracking players on there that you could join they're absolutely brilliant over there and I think you'd have a wonderful time now my content is free here on YouTube and on Twitch um, you're not obliged to pay a single penny for it but if you would like to support me directly it would be greatly received and every pound every dollar that I receive will go to improve the content that I make for you guys so if you do want to check out the benefits and support me you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash flash rabbit okay so let's crack on with this we've got the dispenser there I need a bucket of lava in fact I think I might have some lava in a shulker somewhere there I knew I did pop that down and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I share loads of stuff on Twitter. I'm very active. And you can at me at any time. I'd be really, really happy to hear from you. Uh, right, okay. So now, all as we need. Actually, we don't need the redstone at all. I'm talking rubbish. So if I come in here and I get some... I've got some stone and make a button. No, actually, I won't make a stone button. I'll make a wood button if I've got any wood. Uh, not there. I've got some over here. Um, yeah, I'll make a wooden button because the pulse that a wooden button sends out is slightly longer uh, than it's in there. It's slightly longer than the stone button so the lava will stay around just that little bit longer. So it'll be extra burny. <laughs> Right, let's make a, a wooden button. There we go. Right, so now if I put that button on there and press that, all the lava flows out and sorts out the villages without me having to get involved in the dirty work. Um, because if the villagers gossip they won't like me in the trading hall I'm not sure whether because they can't see these villages that it actually would matter but just in case and all that I don't want to be getting a bad rep <laughs> I've got a good reputation in that trading hall I don't want to spoil it right, well, these guys have avoided the lava which isn't a problem we've certainly got rid of the majority which is all good so I'm going to remove the block that's in front of these two guys and they can they can do the thing uh, I'll be able to get at it from there yeah just let that despawn so these guys now I think will be all good and I think that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it every time you come along. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. If you've liked the episode, please press the like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, consider subscribing because it really does help the channel grow. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads in the future, press the bell icon and I'll be sure to let you know the next time we upload a video. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye.